All right, so we're going to look at sprite sheets. So I'm going to do a search for a sprite sheet on Google and take a look at the images here. Sprite sheet is a series of images drawn from left to right of a particular type of animation. It's used in video games and in animation, and you can see they can actually get to be pretty involved. But we're going to pick one that's pretty cut and dry and simple. It's a runner. So you can see from left to right, we've got the actual images of what it would be like to use your legs for running. So I'm going to save this image onto my desktop, right? That's my first step. Save my sprite sheet. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into Adobe Animate and I am going to import that image right onto my stage. And I'm going to find it there and import it. And then I'll look at it here on the stage. Now, I'm going to do what's called breaking it apart. You go to modify break apart. What this does is it kind of unglues all the pixels so that you can erase things easily. So now that I've broken it apart, I'm going to use the lasso tool and I'm going to select one image at a time and convert them to symbols. Now you should do this carefully. Uh, I'm just doing it very quick and easy so you get an idea. But then you select it, then you go to modify, convert to symbol, convert it to a graphic type symbol, right? Give it a simple name like I like to name them numerically. Like this is just number one my first graphic symbol and then I'm going to repeat this for two, three, four and so forth until I've basically created a graphic symbol for each one of these pieces of the running sprite sheet. Okay so now that I have my basic graphic symbols here of my running fella here what I want to do is assemble them together in a movie clip. So what I need to do is create a new movie clip so I'm going to go to insert new symbol this time I want to make sure it says movie clip here and I'm going to give it a name that's appropriate for whatever it is, runner, click OK. And I'm going to take the first graphic symbol and drag it right to the center right over this X, little plus sign thing. And there it is. So the first guy is in place. Now I'm going to do simple frame by frame animation for the rest of the images. So I'll start by going to insert timeline blank keyframe and I've got my onion skinning turned on here so I can see my previous frame. I click on the second one. I'm going to put him right on top. I can line it up again right there. I can always tweak it a little bit if I need to with the arrow keys if I want to change it a little bit. I'm going to continue this all the way to the end. There we go. So I've assembled them all now. I have all of them inside this movie clip, okay? So I'm going to click this arrow to go back to the main stage, and you'll see there's nothing there now, but everything is contained in the library. Now, if you look in the library, notice one through eight here. These are the graphic symbols, and you can see the little icon that they use to represent a graphic symbol. Then this last one that's called Runner, this is the movie clip. So this contains all the graphic symbols. So what I'm going to do is drag the runner right onto the stage, and there he is. Now, here's the thing. I'm going to do Control Test Movie, and you'll see that the animation is going to work. There he goes. He looks like he's walking, right? So this is playing. This one movie clip is playing all eight of the graphic symbols as a little mini movie. Now, once you've done this, you've basically got the idea here. Now what's fun though, is I can animate the animation. Now let me show you what I mean by that. I can take this movie clip, let's say I put him off the stage here, and I'm gonna do simple keyframing of the movie clip. So I'll go down here, maybe click in frame 30, insert timeline, keyframe. And then you can see that I now have um, put him at the end and I'm going to move him over to the end here. And so that he'll be at the very end of the um, timeline. And then what I'm gonna do is click and go to insert, create classic tween. Now watch what happens when I test my movie, you'll see that I have animated the animation. So I've got the animation, but now it is animated. So this is really a cool way to be able to deal with animation as a whole once you get the idea of using movie clips. Now there's one little thing here. I'm going to turn off onions getting. You'll notice a little imperfection here of this, this little these gray and white blocks here. Um, I went very quickly. Technically, if you want to go back and clean that up, you could double click on each of the graphic symbols one at a time and then you could use your eraser tool and you could fine tune this right you could get rid of of these little blocks and if you want to make your animation look really perfect um, that would be the thing to do but I was doing this quickly so that you could just get the idea 
So there you go. That's how it works.